Okay, first add a queue. Come to Asset Browser. Search for Axes. Drag and drop this node operator under queue. Drag the Axes Y100. Now add an taper deformer put it under q come here onto display option choose ground shading with lines select q select these three by holding down shift hold control right by clicking on increase value to change the tree value at the same time four is enough click on taper fit to parent increase the strength it doesn't work correctly we need to first put the object into a connector get out the taper from the hierarchy add an uh, connect put the cube under connect add the taper under connect fit parent now it is working correctly change the strength also you can change the curvature for now i will use very low value for curvature uh get back to cube i think segmentation 3 is okay now add a correctional deformer put it under taper come to polygon mode value on correction tab click on this polygon e push it down a little bit i think that's okay now come here add a bevel deformer put it under correction as you can see when i change the offset value all the edges with the angle threshold of 40 degrees are getting beveled but i want two kind of bevel one for these edges and one for these ones so come back to correctional deformer select edge mode and we want to select all run around it so hit ul on keyboard for loop selection click this when you are on correctional deformer and you selected the, these edges come to select the store selection change the name of edge selection to edge selection one drag and drop the tag to the cube come to bevel deformer select model mode here now in the bevel deformer for the selection drag and drop the selection onto it and as you can see the bevel deformer is now only working on the edges that we selected okay. duplicate the bevel deformer another time holding down control and drag this time let's delete the selection here come back to correctional deformer this time select edge mode again here select half selection and select this edge hold down shift by selecting all four edges okay select the store selection name this one as selection two drag and drop it onto the cube object come to bevel deformer this time for the selection drag and drop this new selection onto it i think we need to change the order of these two bevel we added drag and drop the second bevel on top of the first bevel now as you can see these four corners have better topology uh, now you can adjust the values as you want for example i select the cube again for the size y i will decrease it a little bit i will select the taper fit to parent and change the strength a little bit and for the bevel i can change the offset for each of them i think it's okay for now now let's add the whole thing inside the subdivision surface click select connect hold alt by clicking on subdivision surface it ruined the whole shape let's come back to bevel add a subdivision add two subdivision on each come here select display ground shading come back to correction polygon mode select the center polygon push it down a little bit more okay now from now on it's mostly playing with values and, and select which is your preferences this is my values on the first bevel i use subdivision 2 offset 18 on the second bevel i use subdivision 3 offset 7 you can play with the values on these two bevel and on taper and correctional deform okay now let's put whole thing inside the cloner add a cloner grab the subdivision surface put it under cloner right click on count user interface show sub channels uh her step on mode is okay select x hold control select z 
hold control by clicking on increase button to increase number of cloned object and x and z axis select multi instance now it is much smoother for the viewport add the camera add the now right click on camera add target tag on it target click on eyedropper select null as a target add another view i come here new view panel make it bigger here click on default camera on this new view rs camera let's increase the cloner a little bit more okay select camera go to quad view change the angle a little bit on the camera change the perspective focal length to something like 200 pull out the camera from the scene position the camera as you like there is no hard rule here okay i like this one add your lights to the scene i will use a dome light here let's close this view hold down on render rs render view this is my last render hit on play button select the rs camera from this drop down menu to see the correct view okay i will put it here for the dom light click on browser again and type for hdri you can select any one you like uh, i for example download this one I see now for the crash, so I remade the scene. Let's continue now. We added a dom light. For a texture, you can drag and drop your texture that you downloaded from internet, something like HDR Heaven. I dragged and dropped the file here. You can also download one from asset browser here and drag and drop it here. I did it. And you can play with the value for the dom light. I choose the intensity of 105 and exposure of let's activate the preview render view and exposure of minus 0.4 okay you can add as many lights as you like for now let's stick to this just just this dumb light here save the file now for the material you can use any material you like but for simplicity of this video i search for plastic in the asset browser here and i downloaded this material redshift material drag and drop it into material window and you can drag and drop it onto the cloner object as you can see the material has one color what if we want to have random color for each object let's pause the render view for now click on cloner hold down on this one add shader as you can see on the cloner object on the effector tab we have shader now click on shader disable scale or any other option here on the color mode on the parameter of shader object click on field color come to fields tab hold down here add another shader here where was the shader field okay click on this drop down search for no noise click on the noise here select one of them i select for example this cell noise now click on the shader object here again as you can see shader field with this noise is added here activate it activate the color of it here by clicking on this icon now let's see this noise on our material here double click on the material click on plus icon here search for user and select color user data put it down here drag the out to base color of a standard material now on the color user data node click on color user data node preset MoGraph color close this window for now activate the render view again as you can see there is some a slight difference between this the color of these buttons here some of gray some of white now let's make this colorize click on shader object hold down here add colorizer now you can adjust your colors here you can enter your colors manually one by one or you can simply select a preset load preset for example i select this one double click on it it's working somehow but it is not showing all the colors here what's the problem it is about value remapping in Sino 40. For now, to solving it, enter something like 3000 here and check the cycle. Now, as we can see, this the, our scene is ready. We can close this window and render our final scene by click hold down on this icon here and click render to picture viewer. This will take a while.
After it finish, click on the image here, save image as, select format, I rather using something like PNG, okay, I select where you want to save it, I select desktop, you can change the name, save, and your render is ready, bye bye.